Hello guys, it's me, Red the Ebe Dinosaur, and today in Forza Horizon 5 with the Aston Martin Lagonda, the new vehicle for this week in Forza Horizon 5 that you can get for only 20 points on this week playlist. So let's clear things up. Uh, I really like Aston Martins, it's one of my favorite brands of all time. I put it myself as a goal to get an Aston Martin DVS 2009 is one of my favorite cars overall uh, besides the Carrera GT and the McLaren F1 and many other cars that I actually like a lot the DVS is, is right there and Aston Martin had brought up a lot of beautiful machines over time on the Lagonda it's one of those exercises of desperation that usually end awfully and that's one of them like the Lagonda was one of those cars that was made just to get a quick buck to compete with the roll with Rolls Royce and and Bentley back then in the 70s and this car for some miracle was on production for actually almost 25 years it's, it's actually insane how much this car was in the in production and it's just a product of its time, you know, it was a product of the end of the 70s to the start of the 90s. Like this boxy shape, quite ugly car that was also very expensive, that also had its issues, typical old British car but that was not very reliable. I'm so glad that this car doesn't have the Aston Martin branding. It has the Lagonda branding. It's kind of like the same of the Ferrari Dino in, in, in some way. In terms of the game, well, it makes a lot of uh, sense that this car sucks. Because, well, in real life, this car was really fucking disappointing. It was a B8 at least doing like 200 courses. It was really underpowered. And well, this car is also very underpowered. Sure, you can engine swap this car, but I personally am not a big fan of engine swapping this, especially this thing. So I just decided to keep the, the V8 engine on and just try to, to, you know, at least pull it to 300 on, or to leave it on C600. Interesting choice of leaving this car on retro sports cars. I think it will be better in other and another category than this but you know it is what it is it's gonna be absolutely blown out of the water by uh, Japanese cars because th those are like the, the big league cars especially on on that section of or that class on Forza Horizon but overall it's a pretty uninteresting car that's sure has a some decent acceleration but it's not the end of the world but overall, it just lacks power. Like, this car is so underpowered that even on with the upgrades to leave it on C600 is not enough. And even if you actually upgrade it a bit more, it's gonna feel, you're gonna feel the, how heavy this car is. And it's gonna not, you don't gonna have a chance, you know? You don't gonna have a chance to compete with other cars, especially on upper classes if you are up, up to the task to actually swap the engine or do more work in terms of upgrades on this thing. I'm not gonna blame you if you want to skip it. It's such a shitty car, dude. <laughs> so, yeah, just just try to, you know, I, I'm just, just don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. So just leave this boxy thing out. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what do you think about the Aston Martin Lagonda. Uh, if you like it, if you not, if you want to skip it or you want to collect it like me because, well, you want to collect all the cars for some reason. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know everything in the comment section. So yeah, that's it. Thank you very much and see you on the next one. Goodbye.